Hi guys, it's Andre coming from you know where San Clemente folks so uh, I started chapter 7 yesterday uh, but I didn't want to read it so I'm going to start back on uh, Proverbs chapter 7 another Van Scoob mission <laughs> it's so beautiful today uh, took off all the way down to uh, Outlets Mall and uh, that's where these trolleys end up and then they come back this way so I thought I'd go down there and see uh, the other end. I went down to the, uh, and down at the very back. Uh, they have a Chick Fil A, and I've I've never been there, and and all the whole time I've lived here. And the first time, you know, from Grandpa going to Denny's, my wife, uh, family going to Denny's. Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, but today, um, I went to uh, Chick Fil A, and I thought of Cindy, uh, Cindy LeBlanc, and. Uh, there in Salinas at the uh, at the shopping center at the mall at the Emporium, the Pennies and, and uh, uh, Northridge Mall, right? Uh, we were teenagers, and she goes, "Hey, Andre, um, uh, I, we can get you a job uh, stocking shoes at the mall." I go, "Really? Yeah." So okay. So I went in there and uh, started stocking women's shoes at Bird Shoe Store. And it ended up working there. So she actually got me uh, a job selling women's shoes. And uh, But right there in the mall was the first time I ever seen a uh, chick. I used to call it Chick-fil-A. And she goes, it's not called Chick-fil-A. It's called Chick-fil-A. I was like, oh, okay, well. So that was the first time I had Chick-fil-A is with Cindy. I love you, Cindy. Uh, so every time uh, I see a Chick-fil-A, uh, it reminds me of you. I love you and always will. And you, you, you know that. So hallelujah. It's my, my uh, high school sweetheart. She'll always be my sweetheart. All right, guys. I thought I'd share that. Uh, another beautiful day here. And uh, uh, let, let's, let's do Proverbs, guys. All right? I'm putting the little wrench into the situation to hold my paper down here on both sides. Uh, 13 millimeters work pretty good so chapter 7 my son keep my words lay up my commandments with thee keep my commandments and live and my law as the as the apple of thine eye bind them upon thy fingers write them upon the table of thine heart say unto wisdom thou art my sister and call understanding thy king's woman that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my casement, and beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among the ones, I, dis I discerned among the youths, a young man void of understanding, passing through the streets near her corner, and he went the way to her house. That's why I didn't want to read this yesterday. And behold, in the twilight, in the evening, in a black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn in her feet, abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets, and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him. And with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings. With me this day have I paid my vows. Therefore come I forth to thee, meet thee diligently to seek my face, and I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh and aloes and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with love. For the good man is not at home. He is gone and long journey. He hath taken a bag of money with him. And will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips she forced him. He goeth after her straightway, as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks, till a dart strike through his liver, 
as a bird's hasteth to the snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye little children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways, go not astray in her paths, for she hath cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. Doeth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places by the way in the uh, by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the dogs, at the doors. Until you, O man, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man, O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools be of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is in an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in the righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understand and write to them that find knowledge. Receive my instructions and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice, gold. For the wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth, do I hate. Counsel is mind and sound wisdom, I am understanding, I have strength. By me kings reign, and princesses decree justice. By me princesses rule, and nobles, nobles even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and, right, and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was, I was brought forth. While as yet as he had made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave the sea his decree, that the waters should not pass his commandment when he appointed the foundations of the earth. Then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily in his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instructions, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the, tru of the Lord. But he that shineth against the me wrought in his own soul, all they that hate me, love death. Wisdom had builded her house. 
She hath honed down her seven pillars. She hath killed her beasts. She hath mingled her wine. She hath also furnished her table. She hath sent forth her maidens. She, she, she cried forth her maidens. She cried upon the highest places of the city. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. As for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Come eat of my bread, and drink of the whole which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish, and live, and go in the way of understanding. He that reproveth the scorner getteth, getteth to himself shame, and he that rebuketh a wicked man getteth himself a blot. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give instruction to the wise man, and he will yet be wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge and the, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. But if thy scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knowing nothing. For she sitteth at the door of her house on a seat in the high places of the city to call passen passer passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. And as for him that want wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he knoweth not that the dead are there, and that the guests are in the depths of hell. The Proverbs of Solomon, A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profiteth nothing, but the righteousness delivereth from death. The Lord will not suffer the, the soul of the righteousness to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with the slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in the harvest is a son that causeth shame. Blesses are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a, but a pre, uh, but a pratting fool shall fall. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his way shall be known. He that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow, but a pratting fool shall fall. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Hatred stirreth up strives, but love covereth all sins. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of his, the destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refru refuses reproof erreth, and, th and he that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wanteth no sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise, choice silk is wise. The tongue of the just is a choice silver, the heart of the wicked is a little worth.
the lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord it make rich, and he addeth no sorrow to it. It is as a sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked, it shall come unto him, but, the, but it shall come un, upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more, but the righteousness is an everlasting foundation. A vinegar to the teeth and a smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope, the hope of the righteousness, the hope of the righteous, shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth, the mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the forward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh forwardness. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perseverance of transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. The righteousness of the per perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. The righteous of the upright shall deliver them, but the transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of the unjust men perish. If the righteous is delivered out of the trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead, a hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the shall the just be delivered. When it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perish, there is shouting. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He that is void of wisdom despiseth his neighbor, but a man of understanding holdeth his peace. A talebearer bearer revealeth secrets, but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors there is safety. He that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it, and he that hateth shirt ship never heard of that shirt sure ship is sure. Huh. A gracious woman retaineth honor, and strong men retaineth riches. A merciful man doeth good, and to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. The wicked work a, a deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. A righteousness tendeth to, the, to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death. They that are forward heart are abomination to the Lord, but such are upright in their way are his delight. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteousness shall be delivered. As a jewel of the gold in the swine's snout, so it is the fair woman which is without discretion. The desire of the righteousness is the only good but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. There is that scattereth and yet increaseth, and there is that withholdeth more than is met, but it tendeth 
to poverty. Hi, Kathy. Love you. It's peace, Kathy. The desire of the righteousness is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. There is that scattereth and yet increase, and there is that withholdeth more than is met, than is meat, but it tendeth to poverty. The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. He that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse him, but blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. Sounds like today. He that diligently seek good procureth favor, but he that seeketh in mischief, it shall come unto him. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind, and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart. The fruit of the righteous is the tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Behold it, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked and the sinner. Chapter 12 Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge, but he that hateth reproof is brutish. A good man obtain favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. A man shall be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteousness shall not be moved. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh ashamed is as rottenness in his bones. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. A man shall be condemned according to his wisdom, but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. He that is despised and hath a servant is better than he that honoreth himself and lacketh bread. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. He that tilleth this land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth vain perversions is void of understanding. The wicked desireth the net of evil men, but the root of the righteous yieldeth fruit. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips, but the just shall come out of trouble. A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit, by the fruit of the mouth, and the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. A fool's wrath is presently known, but the prudent man covereth shame. He that speaketh truth, but a false oh, he that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. The lip of the truth shall be established forever, but the lying tongue is but for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Heaviness in the heart of a man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. The righteous is more ex as excellent than his neighbor, 
but the way of the wicked seduceth him. The slothful man roasteth not, which he took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. And the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death. All right, I'm going to stop on 13. So hallelujah, that was fun. It's pretty warm out here. All right, they're getting some really cool looking clouds today. Awesome. Yeah, I looked at the radar and it shows nothing but clouds, fog, clouds, some rain out there. Wow, beautiful day. It's um, 4 o'clock. Another four hours and then the sun goes down. What do you think about that? Is that awesome? So hallelujah. Vanja Scoop mission. Now, what do I got new today? Not much. <laughs> Not much, but uh, uh, reading out of this Bible is so good, people. It's really good. And learning more. Uh, be able to uh, produce the word in front of our father yesterday as a matter of fact that's what I can let you know yesterday I was sitting out there by the little wall and uh, let's see what happened um, oh yeah I was I was uh, I, I had my my uh, boom my box going with my mic it was turned down low and then um, I was asking people if they love Jesus. A lot of people did. Some didn't. Some didn't know. Some people just passed by. And then the lifeguard walks by and he goes, "There's no. Uh, you can't have amplification." So I turned it off and I talked uh, like five times louder, like this, so I can get louder than that. I go, "Is that is that okay if I can get loud like that?" He says, "Yeah, that's all right. Okay." So he was walking off. And uh, I was telling him, you know, even the lifeguard needs a lifeguard. Uh, you need Jesus. Uh, my father, my lifeguard walks on water. Uh, what do you walk on? Right? So he walked off all mad. Uh, then this lady shows up. This lady shows up with probably six or seven little tater tot kids. And I go, man, these all look like her. She goes, yeah, these are all my kids. And she was pregnant still. <laughs> and she wasn't supposed to have more kids, but she is. She's still having kids. Good Christian family. The kids are love Jesus. And she ended up praying for me. And the little tater tot, little little girl in the in the stroller. She was looking at me, like just like just like staring, like looking at her mommy, looking at me. And she's praying, and it's like it was so sweet. And then uh, they walked off. And then uh, uh, five Muslims came up to, to Dralius and, uh, and started uh, tr trying to uh, say that um, uh, my, our, our word is, is fallible, or infall it's fallible because it was written uh, by man. Well, who else is going to write it? I don't think uh, they had computers to write them back then. Uh, all scripture is given, uh, inspired by God doesn't matter who wrote it through the Holy Spirit is in, it's inspired for uh, rebu reproof re rebuking edif edification uh, uh, equipping the Saints uh, that God is the same today yesterday and forever his word stands true he's the same today yesterday and forever I was telling him uh, I, I and I said I bet you guys uh, I'll put a hurt to it right here I bet you guys don't believe that Jesus Christ is a son of God, right? And they're going, no, we can't believe that. I go, well, uh, sorry, uh, but you just failed the test. Uh, whosoever uh, uh, denies um, me in front of my father and my father in front of his father uh, shall be cast into everlasting darkness. Um, uh, once you deny God, as uh, Jesus is, is uh, the son of God, uh, then you're called an antichrist. So obviously they're antichrists. I go, I'd rather follow Jesus that was born uh, into a human, came down God in, into the human being, 
walked this earth, died and rose again, and left us with the Holy Spirit. You guys believe in the Holy Spirit? Uh, kind of. We, Gabriel and all these other guys, like, uh, okay, whatever. So if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you don't understand where I'm coming from, and you can't. Uh, because you don't have guidance through God and Jesus, his son, who left us with the Holy Spirit when he, he left. Uh, so since you guys are denying that Jesus is the son of God, uh, there's no, uh, we could talk all day, argue all day. You can make me dig through uh, King James or uh, the book of Kings and all this other stuff to find out who Jesus' dad, all this other stuff, Joseph, and they're trying to mix the two up. Which one was his dad? doesn't matter who his dad was. God is God, and his son came. I told him, uh, for God so loved the world. I said, I said, uh, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. I go, you know what? The word is Jesus. Jesus was born uh, before he was on this planet as the prophet you, you are calling him. He was, he was, he is, I am. Before Isaac was, I, or Abraham was, I am. And, and um, they couldn't handle that, so they left, they came back, they left, they came back like three times up to their parking spot up in the yellow. And um, I go, you guys, you know, uh, you've denied my father, so once you've denied my father and his, God uh, and, and Jesus and his father, uh, there's not much we can say. And I walked them across the railroad tracks saying, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, which is Jesus. For He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God didn't send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but through his son, the world might be saved. They were shaking their heads, smiling, laughing. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is a death. But the gift of everlasting life is for those who follow Jesus Christ. So I left them with that, and they left. So then, right after that, the surfer dude, cowboy surfer dude, really, really, uh, really cool dude, handsome man. You got, he's a really good guy, Christian, big time, big, heavy duty brother in Christ, really good man. Uh, he came up, and we started talking for a while and laughing about it, um, inspiring me, inspiring him, uh, and uh, 